So now so far we have added lot of functionality in application. Now we will be adding one more functionality that is user will be able to like or unlike the post, right? Okay. So first of all, we'll be working on the backend, right? We'll be developing a API for that. Now then we will be writing the logic in the client. So let's uh, start working on it. So first of all, I'll be opening this mo model inside this model. I'll open post model here. I will be adding one more field that is likes. Now this likes will be an array. In this array, each individual item will have the ID of the user, right? Let's say this will be a ID of the user, right? Individual uh, uh, item will be an ID of the user who liked the post, right? Okay. Yeah, something like that. Our likes array will look something like that, right? So in here, we can write individual record have a will have a type of object ID and that will refer to user model like so put a comma in here right okay so this is how we need to write in a schema right so each individual item will be an id right so type of that will be an object id and that will refer to user model simple right okay so now we can come to a route and inside this post route i'll be creating two routes for one for like and one for unlike so here I'll be writing router R O U router dot post. Now here you know uh, you can write this post, but this will be a kind of an update request. So it's better we should write here put. Right? You can write post as well, but it's a bad, good practice that we should write put because that will be an update operation. Right? We'll be updating our our likes. Initially this will be an empty, so we'll be updating this field. So instead we should use here put because this will be a put request right so put means that that will be an update request so we should write put here and you can put post as well but that that will also work but it's a good practice to write put in here if that is an update request okay so user will be making a making a request on let's say like right okay and uh, we need to use require login middleware and then we can add a callback function like so now we have required a post model right in here okay so now let's make use of that so post dot some we have something called as find by id and update yeah we will be using this so we will be finding by id so we will be passing the id of the post from the front end right so we can access that in request dot body dot post id so i'll be uh, passing this post id right in our header in our in our body right so uh, we need to pass this post id from the front end when we will be making a request yeah so this will be coming from request and we can access this post id from request.body.post id right so we need to pass the id of the post from the front end while making a request okay yes and now in here we can uh, use something called as uh, dollar push in order to push something into an array and we need to push in this likes array like a likes array and uh, we will be pushing request dot user dot id underscore id right uh, yeah underscore id so we are pushing in this likes array the id of the user who is currently logged in right only the logged in user can like the post right so we can access the logged in user in this request dot user right because you know we are uh, we have added this middleware right after verifying the token we are attaching the user data in this request dot user so we can we can access the user who is logged in with this request dot user and i am accessing the id of that right so this is the person who has liked the post right okay yeah so we are pushing that in our likes array this is the simple logic this is the simple logic and here we will be passing one more option that is new will be true right we need to write this new uh, to true because else if we will not write so mongodb will return us an old record so we want a new updated record that is why in here we are writing this new true right okay now we can execute this query so i can call this execute now in execute we can add a callback with error and re as you add a result and now in here if we got any error 
then we can return and response uh, status 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 of 4 4 to 2 and we can send json and with the error error right with the error with the value of whatever the error will be okay else we will response with the json result like so right now let's uh, make one more route handler for unlike post so i'll duplicate that by pressing alt shift down key and instead in here i'll write unlike u n l i k e u n l i k e now this route handler will be almost similar instead of push here we need to write pull so this pull will remove the user right from the likes array right this is a simple logic okay so let's save this and I think this is it for the video. We will be implementing front end maybe in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next video.